The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. Now, the man Joseph is a great man, a man who was able to forgive such wicked and difficult brothers. Now, people offend us. Now, people hate us. But you have a group of people hunting for your life in an intense way. Uh, it's worrying. Yet to have ten blood brothers collaborating in hatred against you to the extent of wanting to kill you uh, it's strange it is devilish now let's go back to where and when the hatred all began and examine the life of some of the players you see the tongue is a fire and we all have tongues. But many a times, we all don't set the fire at the same time. Somebody will spark it. So we need to examine where the hatred began. The people involved. Their characters. And then, I'll make some suggestions. Genesis 37. We'll take verse 1 and 2. Genesis 37 verse 1 and 2. Jacob lived in the land where his father had stayed. The land of Canaan. This is the account of Jacob's family line. Je Joseph a young man of 17 was tending the flock with his brothers. Now, his brothers, comma, now take note of that. Okay. The sons of Bilha and the sons of Zilpah, his father's wife, if you like, his father's servant's wives. And he brought their father a bad report about them. So he was tending the flock with his brothers, but not all of them. He was doing that with his father's servant wives, Bilha, the servant of Ra Rachel, Rachel, and then Zopa, the servant of Leah. And he, Joseph, brought their father a bad report about them. So he was bringing a bad report about them. Bilha had two children. Zilpah also had two children. Dan Naphtali to Bilha. Then God and Asha to Zilpah. So he was talking to his daddy concerning the evil behavior of this four. How 
how come that now they all hated Joseph? What did they, this for, tell the others? Studying these four children of Joseph's servants' wives closely. Now, I see two of them who appear to be quite treacherous. They all have short, short names, three-letter names, Dan and God. Very dangerous. <laughs> this afternoon, I was thanking God that my name is four letters. <laughs> <laughs> Dan and Gas. Oh, this Their names are not even long, but they are dangerous. But I know some people who have two letter names, they are better than this. One. <laughs> yes. But why this suspicion? You see, just Jacob called his sons and he said he was going to. Predict their future. But I friend, so I can see that, or it seems to me, reading through what he said concerning his brothers and what I've read in scripture concerning some of them, it seems to me that his prediction was a projection based on their past. And at least you see that pattern in the first three and some others that we know uh, we know they are lies from scripture. So I will come back to talk about Dan and God and what I think they were doing that cause trouble in the house of Jacob. But let's look at the prediction concerning the first three sons of Jacob. So the first one was Reuben, the second was Simeon, the third was Levin. Now so let's go to Genesis 49. Are we together? From verse 1. Now, then Jacob called for his sons and said, Gather around so I can tell you what will happen to you in days to come. Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to your father Israel. Now he's going to start from the first, first second. He was quite uh, straight on that. He started from number one. So, Reuben. You are my firstborn, my might, the first sign of my strength, excelling in honor. Excelling in power. Rubin, my back I know, my wording, and me many years as if free. Oh, brosso, need the emu, now, oh, brosso, to me. Now, the next verse, verse 4, says that, turbulent as the waters, you will no longer excel, for you went up unto your father's bed, unto my couch, and defiled it. Oh, he himself, you. And be free once, If we say wolf for wedge at Naya, na a moo and a woo woofy, mempa and a wolf You see, Rubin, as the firstborn, ought to be preeminent. The woman is a ruby on your back, I know, as I said, with me depending what didn't you know, my dear. But a special standing in the family is forfeited because of his shocking behavior with the father's servant wife the servant of Rachel now you see this was the past and has 
affected his future. There was this lady who was complaining about church members and that they have been gossiping and all that. She, she was angry. She wants to leave the church. Because anytime that somebody comes up to uh, try to ask for her hand, some church members will go and gossip. Because but she doesn't know that it is her past that is projecting her future. No, people don't do that. But when you come around and you want to marry and you are asking questions, <laughs> there are some people in the church who are always prepared to give answers. <laughs> when you don't even ask them, they want to talk. If you ask them, they will tell you everything. So why is she fighting everybody? Your past, your present. Will affect your future. So let's go to the second and the third, Simeon and Levi. Now, verse 5. Simeon and Levi are brothers. See, they are brothers, but he is emphasizing that they are brothers. It means that they are certain kind of brothers. So close. Then he says that they are souls, two of them, are weapons of violence. Let me not enter their council. Let me not join the assembly. Say, these guys, these two boys, they can be dangerous. Let me, Jacob, not enter their council. <laughs> For they have killed men in their anger and hamstrung ozens as they pleased. Curse be their anger, so fierce and their fury, so cruel. Then listen, this is past. This is past. But look at what the man is going to say. I will scatter them in Jacob and disperse them in Israel. Hmm. Hmm. The next verse. Okay, so let's take this one. This one is jumping to Jude. So you see that the pronouncement on Simeon and his brother Levi centers on their violent disposition. And to whom said Simeon Levi, some of our camp for our own, a genasenia won't subay etia na a basabas. See, they conspired and massacred the men of Sechem on account of the humiliation of their sister. Now they did this without the consent of the others or the knowledge of the father. Now this is a known fact. The past. And the old man says. I was scattered. Because when they are together, they can cause trouble. And brothers, their descendants were truly scattered. There was no boundary designed to these two tribes. No, no boundary assigned to them. For Levi, they gave them 48 cities or towns scattered among the tribes of 
of Israel. You can't go and find them group in any suburb. They were scattered. And for the Simeonites, they had 17 towns or cities are located within the territory of the one they gave to Judah. I wish you Simeon. So send your new crown at here no. Makuma could do so. Na nyawadiama yuda no. A pity no ewum. Now this was number one to separate them from each other. We you did kind of say Obama one time at it. Everyone won. Actually to break their ranks. Then you bear. Oh my one to me and come on crying. Number three to weaken them. You toss me a no. They say toss me a son. They say Obama one more the abrasive. Number four. And I know to prevent them from causing any more harm. Moving forward, then a bear air corner one for you in the beer uncle baby. Your past, your present will determine your future. Now, why you come and in a way in print, you know, it was in some so I will die. Let us be very, very careful. Don't for no mommy and share your we papa. Unless grace finds you and redeems you, that will be your 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 course. I don't want no more life now. And you and freeze our kind of so I not just our dachi and I want to see a common. Are we together? So I'm um, tempted to believe that Dan and God might have had some characters that caused a hatred in the home. I suspect that the father will hint it when he, he laid hands hand on them. Since the past played critical role in the prediction. I'm sure all of us are designed to go and <laughs> we want to hear what the old man said about these two guys. Now I've eliminated Naphtali and Asha. But I think that Dan and God will be trouble causes. Genesis 49. Verse 16. Genesis 49, 16, 17, and 18. Dan will provide justice for his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan bebu Israel Dan now pay attention to this big one. Dan will be a snake by the roadside. A viper along the path that buys the horse's heels so that its rider tumbles backwards. Dan beye o kwensu o wo timponsu e hurutia o ka o ponko nintin na ne sot na fono a shinechi Verse 18. I look for your deliverance, Lord. Now, this is the old man. Who, say he's praying for deliverance for this boy. <laughs> I wonder why they added that one. But he say this, guys. Lord, I pray for your deliverance. Dan had a serpentine spirit. Serpentine behavior. His target was to bring down the one sitting on the horse. And in this instance, I'm sure the father was talking about Joseph. And he was going to do so by biting the heel, not of the man sitting up, but the horse. Before you say, Jack, the one sitting on the horse is, is flat on the floor. Flat on the ground. Are we together? Now, if you have a brother like this, be careful of him. Serpentine spirit. God. God. Verse 19. Are we here? <laughs> I'm praying that nobody's name come here. <laughs> God will be attacked by a band of raiders 
but he will attack them at their heels god asafubiri twano na ono so atoa won aka won anything na any time that people attack from the rear they are dangerous previema obi etosha oso every wechi no ni hu hu they attack from the rear he says that they will attack him so we beto ano but he won't say anything won't catch him you are attacking from the back and the bible says that he will attack the heels i suspect that these two guys might have started the fire of hatred that sparked and burned the home of jacob yes once you get the rider on the horse they want the rider to fall flat. See, the old man knew who I mean the characters of his children. And the old man loved Joseph. And I don't think that any time that he laid hands on any of them, he will forget who they were. I love you Jacob. Now if you have brothers with such characters, you can be sure of trouble. But Joseph is a fruitful vine. Now a fruitful vine near the spring. Kama, kama, whose is branches you. climb over the wall now it climbs over a wall so this young man places a wall in his in, on his way but his, his vine climbs over the wall they just wanted him to hit the wall we will see what will come out of his dreams so with bitterness Archer, they attacked him. Scripture says that they shot him with hostility. But his bow remain steady. Now may your bow remain steady. His strong arm stayed limber. Then he said, because of the hand of the mighty one of Jacob. Because of the shepherd, the rock of Israel. Now, it eventually, despite all that they did, Pharaoh sent for Joseph and set him free. Pharaoh Suma Amma Wokoyi Yosef. Now, Psalm 105 says that the ruler of the nations opened the prison door for him to come out. Now, Joseph was now put in charge of, of all the king's household. He became ruler over all the king's possessions. Now, one would have thought that when he was a servant in the house of Potiphar, he may not have the space to ask permission to go and visit his father. Similarly, we can agree that when he was incarcerated, he was restrained. So he will not even have the space or you cannot leave prison saying that I'm going to visit my brothers or my father. But now he is not just free. He is a ruler. Now, now he is a rich man. He had vehicles at his disposal. Why didn't he go to visit the brothers? At least, why didn't you go and check on the old man? Why? Didn't he know where they were? So now, Do you think he didn't know where? They were? 
Why did he decide to mind his own business? I don't really know because I wasn't there. <laughs> but just imagine that you have brothers and you have been sent to them. You got there, they attacked you. They stripped you of your clothes. They push you into a dangerous system. While in the system, you heard them discussing about eliminating your life. Eventually, in the midst of all your plea, they, they, they sold you as a slave. Later, you were put in prison because of them. What will be your feeling towards these people? This naturally will make anyone bitter. And rightly so, Joseph was bitter. There was pain in his heart. Because even his father says that had it not been for the God of Jacob, these people would have destroyed him. There was pain in his heart. Because of their wicked deeds. Now, how do I know that? Genesis 41. Genesis 41. From verse 50. Now, I want us to pay attention to this one. Before the years of famine came, two sons were born to Joseph by Asenath daughter of Potiphar, priest of On. Now, what will Emma Ben, Emma Yosef, and Sana, a com in Frisiano redrew, Wong, na On, Sofwa, Potiphar, Ba, Asenaf, a woman. And so, Joseph was given a wife. Ja, Yosef, here. He never called her father to the wedding ceremony. My friend, Papa, Emma Yosefiana, see you. Neither did he decide to bring the brothers. <laughs> you see this voice if for any reason you have escaped from their clothes <laughs> I'm sure Joseph was thinking that <laughs> if I go to say good morning and they know that I'm alive they will, they will make sure that they kill me he decided to mind his own business I'll talk about why sometimes you need to mind your own business. I'll talk about that. I'll talk about that next week if God grants us grace. Why sometimes you have to mind your own business? <laughs> Let's take verse 51. So, the family were not part of the wedding and now he's married now verse 51 is going to give birth so let us all be be ready for the child he's going to he's going to give birth. yes jo now joseph named his first born manasseh and said it is because God has made me forget all my troubles and all my father's household. See, if, stop. We, if we say, or say, when you go on, I'm a mirror free, my money, and you made a fee in you now. Manasseh. Manasseh. <laughs> God has made me forget all my troubles. So he had troubles. From, from, who? from his brothers. Then he said, oh God, I thank you. You have made me forget all my troubles and all my father's household. He cancelled your name. <laughs> oh my God. Everybody there. <laughs> 
Yeah, there are certain people you have to forget about them. Then verse 52. The second son he named Ephraim and said, It is because God has made me fruitful in the land of my sufferings. So now you can imagine why he didn't go back. The names he gave his children were indicative of the fact that he had issues within. But you see, merely naming your children Manasseh and Ephraim does not cure bitterness. Now it doesn't re remove the pain. No, it doesn't remove the pain. No, it doesn't remove. It may even be counterproductive. Because any time that you see Manasseh, you remember your brothers. <laughs> 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 when you see Ephraim, then you say, ah, these people. Uh -huh. Ephraim, yeah. Even though you say, God has made me forget. But you have named somebody, Manasseh. Then you say, ah, these people. Ah, these people. We'll continue next week. I think I will have to put a comma here. Sometimes you go to somebody's house and the person has named a dog with a fine name. Maybe it's because of something. <laughs> you say somebody has named his dog. Show me it means. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. <laughs> it means so many things. <laughs> Maybe it's like Ephraim and Manasseh. Yeah, may the Lord help us. We are in a difficult world. Walking among difficult people. So sometimes you don't have your way. And and so sometimes you may have to mind your own business. He decided to mind his own business. Very much afraid of these people. And until God Himself orchestrated their meeting together. May God help us. To know what to do at any particular time. May he be our deliverer. In spite of the hostilities, may the Lord save us. May the Lord save all of us. May the God of Abraham be our strength. May we be able to climb over any wall that the enemy has put on our way. And may our arm stay strong. May the God of Abraham hold our hands in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus.